members of the board and the public. I have three uh, items to report to you today. The first is a COVID update, uh, and Dr. Worsley is going to come forward to get us started, but we have a few speakers in regards to this, uh, of our ongoing response to COVID, and, and more importantly right now, the dissemination of the vaccines. Dr. Worsley. Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board, Dr. Casey. It is an honor to be with you all on this evening. It's been a long day for your presentation, so I promise that we will uh, move through this presentation expeditiously so we can get uh, to your other agenda items on tonight. So let's get started. Uh, last time that we met, about two weeks ago, we gave you an overview regarding some general um, COVID updates. Tonight, in my general portion of the COVID updates, I'm really gonna focus on the marketing and communication aspect. Followed by me uh, will be uh, Dr. Samuel, um, who's going to give you some VDH uh, updates. And I'm certain I'm not going to steal his thunder, but I'm sure he's going to talk about and introduce the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine that we are also very happy to have uh, here in Chesterfield at this time. And then followed by Dr. Samuel will be Chief Center, um, who is going to also uh, talk about some of the forward-looking things that we have moved, moved through um, since the last time we talked as well. And um, I'm not going to steal his thunder, but there's a little presentation regarding a new dashboard initiative as well. So let's talk a little bit about what we received um, by way of update late last week from our friends at VDH. Uh, this is a verify and update your pre-registration info. Um, very nice infographic here that came out late last week. Um, some of the talking points that VDH want to make sure that we impress upon our citizenry is to make sure that everyone verify and update their pre-registration records now by visiting vaccinate.virginia.com or of course by calling the phone number that they have posted. Uh, also want to make sure that uh, we have the most recent uh, eligibility information uh, that everyone's record and is consistent across Virginia. Um, also, they would like to make sure that pre-registration record is, if it is missing any important information, uh, that may delay one's appointment um, at that time. So we also would like to make sure that verifying your information and updating the record uh, want to make people aware that it will not change their place and time in terms of their, their date when they pre-registered and they also receive their reference code. That is important to let you know this information because it really goes and speaks more towards the uh, marketing communication aspect that we are um, doing here in Chesterfield County. This is an example that uh, an individual received um, after uh, they perhaps pre-registered, or this is maybe an update that you would receive uh, regarding the Vaccinate Virginia. And in this case, this is actually an, an update email to, ver to make people know that they should uh, verify and update their information. Chesterfield County has, as you know, a phenomenal communication and media team that's led by uh, Susan Pollard, of course. Uh, this, these are examples of some of the push that have gone out most recently. Um, we pushed the newest message from VDH to verify and update your data um, on our social media and web pages. Also, we had the opportunity for Lamar to get us um, on the billboard that you see here that you're very familiar with that's on um, Melothian Turnpike. Uh, so to verify again, uh, verify and update your registration is on east and westbound lanes um, on this digital bill billboard. Um, and some good news that you might find of interest as well. Uh, there are uh, 150,000 impressions per week on each side um, of that roadway. So um, it's really, really getting some good traffic and it will be there for uh, at least one week before it comes down. And if you don't know where that is, that is, uh, again, Melothian Turnpike near Goodwill and the Mattress Factory. You've heard in the past uh, a great deal about the work that's going on at the public library, but again, a picture is worth a thousand words. So you get opportunity to see here someone being helped by a great librarian um, at one of our public libraries. Uh, again, thanks to our, pay our partners at the Chesterfield County Libraries, uh, we are able to provide additional services to our clients, as you know. Uh, one of the goals with marketing communication is such uh, to inform individuals about the assistance available at 
the library regarding pre-registration for the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, so as mentioned earlier in our present, in presentations today, uh, the library is certainly a place where people can be assisted. Primary audience, of course, is 65 and older at this point. And secondary audience is anyone who may need assistance uh, regarding pre-registering for assistance um, for the other vaccine or needs access to a computer or internet. Here, again, focusing on communication um, and marketing, much work has been done since January 1st. Press releases have been released, video messages have been produced, as well as virtual media briefings have been conducted. Um, I mentioned earlier our social media. Uh, the county has published more than 112 posts, including producing and sharing several videos uh, between January 1 and today on, uh, on just the vaccine information. Um, it is important to also note that the Chesterfield Health District uh, does not have a social media presence. So many of these messages uh, were published on behalf of the Health District to help keep our residents informed. This has been a great partnership between Chesterfield County and the Chesterfield Health Dis District. Uh, this has led to many people reaching out uh, with questions and turning to the county's Facebook page as a resource. Uh, those social media image messages have reached more than one point one million people. That is incredible. Bringing to your attention an opportunity, actually tomorrow evening, um, we will be uh, um, hosting a faith-based community conversation event with Dr. Samuel at 6.30, and this, uh, this will be a, hosted on a Teams a virtual meeting uh, with the invite going out to our faith-based leaders to talk about the vaccine safety rollout. Uh, this is the same format that we've used in the past with Dr. Samuel so that folks will uh, learn, of course, more about the vaccine, but more importantly about how um, and why is it important to get vaccinated and what that rollout means for our community. I mean, as you are well aware, uh, there are some people in our community that still feel that uh, the vaccination may not be for them for various reasons. And we just want to make sure we dispel uh, any myths that people might have. And certainly um, having this conversation with our clergy community is going to help with that. So thank you, Dr. Samuel, in advance for helping us with this process. As you know, um, planning is certainly important. Um, having a community uh, vaccination plan is what we are aiming and what we are currently working on, and we do have such a plan. Um, I have several items that are listed here, um, and you can call those items action items, if you, if you will. You, you are well aware that we have an MOU in place with the health district. That is a significant accomplishment um, re regarding an action item for um, Chesterfield County and our aim towards moving forward with the vaccination process. Uh, logistical management is also important. We have, of course, IMT, um, Parks and Recreation, the Service Office. Um, all of those entities are working with us in terms of logistical management. Data services, as you're well aware, IST has, 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 uh, a, has done an extraordinary job with the heavy lift of moving us forward. Uh, marketing and communication, as I just mentioned before, customer service in ways of, again, the library system, and, of course, our staff that works behind the scene to answer uh, and communicate back and forth to the citizens that, that, that call in or email us. And then, of course, the Chesterfield Health District vaccine, vaccine allocation process um, is certainly uh, many ways that we move forward towards our planning process. And hopefully in the future, we'll be talking a little bit more about the, vac the mass vaccination events uh, that may be coming our way. And I won't say much more about that. Dr. Samuel may have some additional information he can certainly share um, during his presentation. Um, but again, I will want to give a special thanks to Chief Center, Jess Robinson, Justin Adams, uh, Brian Warshawski, um, Natalie Spillman, and the entire incident management team that is helping with the direction and strategy that we are moving forward with. Uh, regarding the plan that I'm, that I'm mentioning, uh, we plan to provide uh, to the board with our community vaccination plan um, on tomorrow, at least a draft copy. Um, it will summarize efforts um, from the past and offer guidance uh, for the future through direction and strategy again. So that is my update at this time.